directly the question is not given for you all so you need to understand this question properly so with respect to the evolution of man name a b d e and f what are the changes menstrual cycle means what the reproductive cycle in the female primates example monkey apes and bumblebee is called menstrual cycle so first of all let us understand what is this uh, sewage treatment plant will have two very important uh, processes one is called primary treatment and the other one is called secondary treatment hello everyone welcome back to this particular important session that is i'll be discussing about the model question paper of second puc biology examination myself bisho barani from the department of biology vidyashram pre university college the temple of excellence i'm pretty sure all the second puc biology students are busy preparing for the coming board examination so i just wanted to help you out in biology by explaining the concepts like what type of questions that may appear in your second puc biology paper by discussing this model question paper 2023 24 moving on to the question paper i think already by this time you are through with your pattern of question paper but once again to brief up let me explain the model of the question paper as you all know the duration of examination is 3 hours 15 minutes and the maximum marks is 70 by this time you all might have gone through your practical examination in biology that is for 30 marks so the theory paper is for 70 marks so the question paper is for 3 hours 15 minutes and that 15 minutes is given to you all to understand the question paper to understand the type of questions that have been given so that you will be mentally prepared to answer them after 15 minutes so what are all the general instructions that are given to you all as you know the question paper consists of four parts a b c and d as you all know from this from the last year you have a different pattern of question paper that is mcq that is multiple choice questions so part a particularly consists of 1 and 2 part a that is part a of first main consists of multiple choice questions and part a second main consists of the fill in the blanks so part a itself includes 15 questions of mcqs and five questions of fill in the blank so totally 20 marks itself appear from part a so part a is a very very important section of your question paper which is mandatory you have to answer it compulsorily so that you can score full full marks part a consists of first main and second question as i already said and part b that is part b consists of two marks questions and part c consists of three mark question right so part b will be the third main and part c will be the fourth main and part d again consists of two parts that is section 5 and 6 so totally your question paper will have first main second main third main fourth fifth and sixth so all the parts are compulsory so all the parts in the question paper are compulsory and as you all know in biology diagrams are very very important so if you unlabeled diagrams or unlabeled illustrations do not carry any marks or will not attract any marks so let me move on to the question paper part a as i already said part a first main question that is select the correct alternative form from the choices given below so 15 means 1 into 15 so first question haploid condition is not observed in which of the following cells option a synergids and egg option b zygote and pn option c antipodal and egg option d antipodal and synergids second question statement 1 formation of fruit without fertilization is called apomixis statement 2 
in some species of asteraceae and grasses seeds are formed without fertilization so option a both statement 1 and statement 2 are correct option b both statement 1 and statement 2 are incorrect option c statement 1 is correct and statement 2 is incorrect option d statement 1 is incorrect and statement 2 is correct third question mc multiple choice question during gestation the fetus develops limbs and digits by the end of option a first month option b second month option c third month and option d fifth month question number 4 the secondary oocyte after ovulation is covered by a non cellular layer of option a cumulus oophorus option b corona radiata option c zona pellucida and option d cortical layer question number 5 an example of hormone releasing iud among the following is option a cu7 that is copper 7 b lip slope c lng20 and d multi load 375 question number 6 which of the following is a fetal sex determination test J, option a gift b gift mip d amniocentesis 7 which of the following mendelian gene disorders the representation of allosomal recessive trait is seen option a hemophilia option b thalassemia option c sickle cell anemia option d myotonic dystrophy question number 8 the process of removal of introns and joining of exons in a defined order in a primary transcripts occur in option a is it prokaryotes option b eukaryotes Option C, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. D, prokaryotes and protista. Question number 9. A type of natural selection in which more individuals acquire mean character value is called. Option A, stabilizing selection. Option B, disruptive selection. Option C, directional selection. Option D, dominant selection. Tenth question. Drug called heroin is synthesized by. Option A, methylation of morphine. D, methylation of morphine. C, acetylation of morphine. D, acetylation of morphine. Question number 11. The fungus not used in the production of any industrial product is. Pencilium, asparagus, trichoderma polysporum, glomus. Option 12. Significance of insertional inactivation in recombinant DNA technology is to. Option A, introduce the recombinants method. Option B, isolate gene of interest. C, select the recombinants. Option D, select the gene of interest. Question number 13, which of the following organisms are studied by Cornell in his elegant field experiment to study competition? Warbler species, C, Cathamelus and Balanus, C, Cuckoo and Crow, and D, Cattle, Egret and Grazing Cattle. Question number 14. The correct sequence in the process of decomposition is Option A. Humification, leaching, catabolism, mineralization, fragmentation. Option B. Catabolism, leaching, fragmentation, humification, mineralization. Option C. Leaching, fragmentation, catabolism, humification, mineralization. Option D. Fragmentation, leaching, catabolism, humification, mineralization. Last question of part A. First main question that is multiple choice questions, Western Guards have a greater diversity of A, amphibians, B, reptiles, C, apes, and D, mammals. Anyhow, I'm going to explain, give the solution for all this multiple choice questions in the coming slide. I'm just discussing about the type of the model question paper. So what are the questions that are given in this model question paper? Moving on to the part A, second main, that is fill in the blanks by choosing the appropriate word or words from those given below which carries 5 marks. So question number 16. The rest, so as you know, the particularly this particular section, part A, second main, the answers will be given above there. You need to select them and write the fill in the blanks. Question number 16. The residual persistent nucleus is called DASH. Question number 17. The cells of DASH secrete milk in the mammary glands. Question number 18. AB blood group inheritance is an example for DASH. Question number 19, DASH is the theory that proposes that units of life called spores were transferred to different planets including Earth. Question number 20, a population interaction in which one species is harmed and the other species is unaffected is DASH. So this particular second main of part A contains the fill in the blanks. So with this, the 20 part A complete 20 questions will be completed for 20 marks. Moving on to the part B. Part B, as I said, the third main question, answer any five of the following questions in three to five sentences each. So this part B 
just write three to five sentences each. So two fives are ten. So question number twenty one. List any four complications a person suffers from untreated sexually transmitted infections. Question number twenty two. State the two medical grounds on which a pregnancy can be terminated according to the amended Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act. 2017 question number 23 give the phenotypes of the parental drosophila that has produced 1.3% and 37.2% recombinants respectively in th morgan dye hybrid cross experiment question number 24 differentiate divergent evolution from convergent evolution question number 25 list any two differences between active and passive immunity question number 26 what are primary lymphoid organ give two examples question number 27 Baculoviruses are excellent biocontrol agents in integrated pest management. Comment. Question number twenty-eight. Ecological pyramids have limitations. Justify the statement with the two reasons. So that was the questions for part B, which is two marker questions. So let me discuss about the part C, which is the three marker questions. So what type of questions appear in this model question paper and answer any five of the following questions in 40 to 80 words each wherever applicable so question number 29 which is a split question you can see here why is bagging of emasculated flask essential during hybridization experiment question number b mention the cells of the mature pollen grain question number c so as i said this is a split question for three mark each carrying one mark each Give the scientific name of the plant that has the viability record of ten thousand years. Question number thirty. Explain the changes that occur in ovary and uterus during the luteal phase of menstrual cycle. Question number thirty-one. Draw a diagrammatic sketch of the lack of parent when lactose is present in the medium. Next. Question number thirty-two. See, this is how the change some pattern. The way of asking the questions has been changed in this particular model question paper. Directly, the question is not given for you all, so you need to understand this question properly. So, with respect to the evolution of man, name A, B, D, E, and F. So, first column is period, second column is places of origin, and the type of man. Two million years ago, this A you have to fill. That is place of origin. Then Australopithecines. Then Period B, you have to answer. Then Java, that is C. Then one lakh to forty thousand years, that is D, E, and F, you have to answer here. Africa, Homo sapiens, that is period F, you have to find. Then place of origin is Africa. Type of man is Homo sapiens. So this is how you will get the change question. Like this is how the pattern of question also has been changed in this model question paper. Question number thirty-three. Mention the three critical areas of biotech. Just mention the three critical areas of biotechnology. You will be getting three marks. So, question number thirty-four. What is gene therapy? Explain the steps involved um, in curing ADA deficiency by gene therapy. Question number thirty-five. Again, a split question. Question number A. Co-extinctions lead to loss of biodiversity. Justify the statement with two examples. Question number B. What are hotspots of biodiversity? Question number thirty-six. Describe the components of aquatic ecosystem, taking pond as an example. Moving on to question number, that is moving on to part D. As I already said, part D is split into two sections: section one and section two. That is, this is the fifth main question, which is for five marker question. So answer any four of the following questions in about two hundred to two fifty words each, wherever applicable. So here you have to answer any four, and each question carries five marks. So five fours are twenty. Question number thirty-seven. Draw a neat label diagram of human male reproductive system. Thirty-eight. Mention the chromosomal disorders that are due to trisomy. Represent their karyotype and two symptoms each. Question number thirty-nine. With the help of schematic representation, illustrate how an infected animal cell can survive while viruses are being replicated and released. Question number forty. Again, it's a split question. So here you can see five split questions are there. Like each one carries one mark each. With reference to DNA fingerprinting, define the following terms: a repetitive DNA, then b satellite DNA, c DNA polymorphism, and uh, D V N T R and E is probe. Question number forty one. What is genetic code? Explain any four salient features of genetic code. Question number forty two. Describe the biological treatment of primary effluent. Question number forty three. So again, this is a split question. 
A. Explain the process of polymerase chain reaction in amplification of desired DNA. Then draw a label diagram of PBR322 vector. Then question number 44. Study the population growth curve given below and answer the questions that follows. So this is again I told you there is a little bit different way of uh, question that is asked here. So here the population growth curve given below in the graph given here. So you need to answer the questions that follows. First question is what? Identify the growth curve A and B. Second question, mention the conditions responsible for the curves A and B respectively. And this is question number A. B is explain the mechanism of sexual deceit in relation to mutualism. So this is 3 mark and this is 2 mark. Again, this is a split question for 5 mark question. Then moving on to the part D section 2 that is the 6th main. Answer any one of the following question in about 200 to 250 words each wherever applicable. Double fertilization is the unique feature of angiosperms and the products of this double fertilization is zygote and PN. In context of this, when a hexaploid plant is pollinated by a tetraploid plant, tetraploid plant find out the ploidy of zygote and PN through a schematic illustration. Question number 46. ABO blood grouping provides a good example of multiple alleles and are controlled by the gene I. This gene product is responsible for the production of sugar polymer that protrudes from its surface. The I gene has three alleles. They are, they are all follow a specific pattern of in. Option, question number A. What are the probable number of phenotypes and genotypes for ABO blood group in human population? Question number B. Mention the genotypes of all the blood group phenotypes. Then C, name the type of blood groups of the parental combination in which both their blood group is not inherited to their children. Question number 47, even this is a little bit different type of question that is there asked. Five patients suffering from certain diseases visit a local primary health center. The doctor does a thorough checkup and prepares the report of the five patients and is indicated in the below given table. Analyze the table and diagnose the disease they are suffering from and causative agent of the diseases. So this is particular question from human health and diseases. So here they have asked patient one is suffering from high fever, constipation, stomach ache, loss of appetite and headache. So what is the name of the disease and the causative agent of the disease you have to mention. So patient two, chills and high fever recurring every three and four days. Patient three is suffering from constipation, mucus and blood clots in stool, abdominal pain and cramps. Patient four, internal bleeding, blockage in the internal passage, muscular pain, fever. Patient 5, dry scaly lesions on skin, nails and scalp. So you need to identify the disease that they have been, by seeing the symptoms, you have to identify the disease and the causative agent of the disease. So this is how the questions are asked. So, par, so you have one marker that is MCQs, one marker question, MCQs, then one marker question, fill in the blanks, then you have two marker question, three marker question and five marker question. So this is how the pattern is asked in your question paper. So now let me start uh, solving this model paper. Going for the solution. First one, that is the MC, first main question of part A. Select the correct alternative from, from the choices given below. I already had discussed the questions in the question paper. So let me go directly for the answer. First question, haploid condition is not observed in which of the following cells? A, synergids and egg, B, zygote and PN, C, antipodal and egg, D, antipodal and synergids. The answer is B, that is zygote and PN, primary endosperm nucleus. Second one, statement one, formation of fruit without fertilization is called apomixis. Statement two, in some species of astracean grasses, seeds are formed without fertilization. So what might be the answer? Option A, both statement 1 and statement 2 are correct. Option B, both statement 1 and statement 2 are incorrect. C, statement 1 is correct and statement 2 is incorrect. Option D, statement 1 is incorrect and statement 2 is correct. So option D is the right answer. Question number 3, during gestation, the fetus develops limbs and digits by the end of, is it first month, B, second month, C, third month, D, fifth month. The answer is B, that is the second month. Question number four, the secondary oocyte after ovulation is covered by a non-cellular layer of option A, cumulus oophorus, B, corona radiata, C, zona pellucida, 
decortical layer. The option C is correct. Zona pellucida. Question number five. An example of hormone releasing IUD that is intrauterine device among the following. Option A, CU7 that is copper 7, B, lip loop, LNG, C, LNG 20, D, multi-load 375. The option, the answer C is right. That is LNG 20. Question number 6. Which of the following is a fetal sex determination test? Is it ZIFT, GIFT, MIP, amniocentesis? It is option D, amniocentesis. Question number 7. Which of the following Mendelian gene disorder the representation of allosomal recessive trait is seen. Option A, hemophilia, B, thalassemia, C, sickle cell anemia, and D, myotonic dystrophy. Option A is the right answer. Moving on to question number 8. The process of removal of introns and joining of exons in a defined order in a primary transcript occurs in Option A, prokaryotes. Option B, eukaryotes. Option C, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Option D, prokaryotes and protista. So the answer is B, that is eukaryotes. Question number nine, a type of natural selection in which more individuals acquire mean character value is called. Option A, stabilizing selection. Option B, disruptive selection. Option C, directional selection. And option D, dominant selection. The option B, disruptive selection is the right answer. Moving on to question number 10. Drug called heroin is synthesized by option A, methylation of morphine, B, demethylation of morphine, C, acetylation of morphine and D, deacetylation of morphine. It is obtained by acetylation of morphine. Option C is correct. Question number 11. The fungus not used in the production of any industrial product is option A, pencilium, option B, aspergillus, option D, trichoderma, polysporum D glomus not used in the production so option D glomus is the right answer moving on to question number 12 significance of insertional inactivation in recombinant DNA technology is to option A introduce the recombinants method B isolate gene of interest C select the recombinants D select the gene of interest so the option C select the recombinants is the right answer question number 13 which of the following organisms are studied by Cornell's in his elegant field experiment to study competition? Option A, Warbler species, B, Cathamalus and Balanus, C, Cuckoo and Crow, and D, Cattle, Egret and Grazing Cattle. The option B is the right answer, that is Cathamalus and Balanus. Moving on to question number 14. The correct sequence in the process of decomposition is Option A, humification, leaching, catabolism, mineralization, fragmentation. Option B, catabolism, leaching, fragmentation, humification, mineralization. Option C, leaching, fragmentation, catabolism, humification and mineralization. Option D, fragmentation, leaching, catabolism, humification and mineralization. So the first, the sequence is fragmentation, leaching, catabolism, humification and mineralization. So option D is the right answer. Moving on to the last but one question of Part A, first main question of multiple choice questions. Western guards have a greater diversity of A, amphibians, B, reptiles, C, apes, and D, mammals. The answer is amphibians. So this is the solution for the 15 questions of multiple choice questions. So let me move on to the second main. Fill in the blanks by choosing the appropriate word or words from those given below. So the answers will be given here above. You need to select the correct answer and Fill the blanks. Question number 16. The residual persistent nucellus is called. So here the answers are given. Commensalism, alveoli, amensalism, panspermia, codominance and perisperm. So what is the right answer for the question number 16? The residual persistent nucellus is called perisperm. The cells of dash secrete milk in the mammary gland, alveoli. AB blood group inheritance is an example for dash, codominance. DASH is the theory that proposes that units of life called spores were transferred to different planets including Earth, Pranspermia. A population interaction in which one species is harmed and the other species is unaff unaffected is amensalism. So this part B, par that is part A, second main question that is the fill in the blanks carries five marks. Let me move on to the next part that is part B which is a two mark a question. List for question number 21. List any four complications a person suffers from untreated sexually transmitted infections. So as I said, it is called STI, sexually transmitted uh, infection. 
itching, fluid discharge, slight pain, swelling in the genital region is first one symptom. Second symptom, infected females may often be asymptomatic and hence may remain undetected for long. Third symptom, absence or less significant symptoms in the early stages of infection and the social stigma attached to the STIs deter the infected person from going for timely detection and proper treatment. So they have the social stigma, so they don't want to disclose their disease. So that is the reason they remain away from going to a doctor. Then this could lead to cause. So what we may it lead to like continuous, uh, if it is not treated at the earliest, this could lead to complications later, which include what PID, that is pelvic inflammatory disease, abortions, then stillbirths, ectopic pregnancies, infertility, and even cancer of the reproductive tract. So all these are the three symptoms when STI are not treated properly. Next, question number 22. State the two medical grounds on which a pregnancy can be terminated according to the amended Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act 2017. First of all, let us understand why MTP, why medical termination of pregnancy is done. To get rid of unwanted pregnancies either due to casual unprotected intercourse or failure of the contraceptive use during coitus or rapes. Useful in the continued pregnancies which could be harmful or even fatal either to the mother or to the fetus or both. So in such cases, MTP is done. When the M So what is the safe period for MTPs? MTPs are considerably safe during the first trimester, that is up to 12 weeks of pregnancy. Second trimester abortions are much riskier. Then the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Amendment Act, which was an, uh, brought into uh, brought into action in 2017 was enacted by the government of India with the intention of what? Reducing the incidence of illegal abortion and consequent maternal mortality and morbidity. Maternal mortality and morbidity. Question number 33. So what is the question? Give the phenotypes of the parental drosophila that has produced recombinant that is 13% and 37.2% recombinants respectively in TH Morgan dihybrid cross experiment. The answer is phenotypes recombinants the 1.3 the yellow body and red dye as well as brown body and white eye type and 37.2% recombinant type. Recombinant Type. Question number 24. Differentiate divergent evolution from convergent evolution. So divergent evolution, similar structures evolve for different functions. Convergent, different structures evolve for similar functions. It results in homologous organs, whereas convergent uh, evolution, uh, it results in analogous organs. Live the different ways than the common ancestors, that is Darwin finches, Australian marsupials and dinosaurs live in the relatively same way as each other. Examples you can give is ostriches, rhea and mu. Then question number 25, list any two differences between active and passive immunity. Active immunity, the immunity developed due to exposure to infection. The immunity developed due to injection of ready-made antibodies. Second difference, it is slow and takes time to give its response. It shows immediate response to give permanent response or like immediate response, it provides temporary immunity, it provides immunity and memory cells are produced for long term immunity, their memory cells are not produced, the antibodies produced are harmless, the antibodies are injected are sometimes harmful. So you have to give four differences for two marker question. Question number 26, what are primary lymphoid organs? Give two examples, primary lymphoid organs namely the bone marrow and thymus. As we know the T lymphocytes are produced in bone marrow and matured in thymus. So primary lymph bone marrow, you can give the example of bone marrow and thymus where production and maturation of lymphocytes take place. As I already said, uh, T lymphocytes are produced in bone marrow and later matured in thymus. Example, bone marrow and thymus. Question number 27, baculoviruses are excellent biocontrol agents in integrated pest management, that IPM. Comment, baculoviruses are pathogens that attack insects and other arthropods. So the majority of baculovirus used as biological control agents belong to the genus Nucleopolyhedrovirus. They have no negative inputs on plants, mammals, birds, fish, etc. But this is very useful in what? In integrated pest management program. 
Next, question number 28. Ecological pyramids have limitations. Justify the statement with two reasons. So each reason carries one mark. Ecological pyramids have limitations, but I have given four. Uh, you can choose any two. Ecological pyramids have limitations. Question number one. It does not take into account the same species belonging to two or more trophic levels. Is the first limitation. Second limitation, it assumes a simple food chain. It never exists in nature. Three, it does not accommodate food web. Four, saprophytes are not given place in ecological pyramids. So all these four are the limitations um, for ecological pyramids. So you can just give any two uh, limitations. Moving on to part C, that is the three marker questions. Three marker questions. So part A, first main and second main, one one mark. That is 15 plus 5, 20. Two marker question, two mar that is part B, two marker question and C is three marker question. Answer any five of the following questions in 40 to 80 words, each wherever applicable. So five threes are, it is 15. Five questions are asked and three marker each, that is five threes are 15. And it is a split question given here. Question number 29A. Why is bagging of emasculated flowers essential during hybridization experiment? Split question B. Mention the cells of the mature pollen grain. Split question C. Give the scientific name of the plant that has the viability record of 10,000 years. So what is the answer for split question A? Bagging of emasculated flower during hybridization experiments before the flower open in case of female when the stigma becomes receptive, pollination is carried using the desired pollen and the flower is again rebagged. Then mention the cells of the mature pollen grain, vegetative cell and generative cell. Question number three, give the scientific name of the plant that has the viability record of 10,000 years. The oldest seed is that of lupin, that is lupinus articus, excavated from arctic tundra. So this is a split question, each question carrying one mark. This is a three marker question. Question number 30, the changes that occur in the ovary and uterus during luteal phase of menstrual cycle. So what are the changes? Menstrual cycle means what? The reproductive cycle in the female primates, example, monkey, apes and human being is called menstrual cycle. So what are the changes that happens in the luteal phase? The ovulation is followed by the luteal phase during which the ruptured part of the graphene follicle transforms into a low body called corpus luteum. Then the corpus luteum secretes large amount of progesterone as we all know, which is a very important hormone for the maintenance of the endometrium. Such an endometrium is necessary for implantation of the fertilized ovum and other events of pregnancy. Hence, progesterone is called as what? Pregnancy hormone. During pregnancy, all events of menstrual cycle stop and there is no menstruation. Hence, absence of menstruation is the indication of pregnancy. In the absence of fertilization, corpus luteum degenerates and converted into white body called corpus albicans. This causes disintegration, rupturing of the endometrium, leading to the menstruation that marks the menstrual cycle of next month. So all these changes are going to happen. Then in human beings, menstrual cycle ceases around 50 years of age called menopause. Cyclic menstruation is an indicator of normal reproductive phase in female that extends between menarche to menopause. So this is the diagrammatic representation where we even this might be asked in the examination. Moving on to question number 31. Draw a diagrammatic sketch of the lack of parent when lactose is present in the medium. So we all know that Jacob and Monard explained the activation and inactivation of genes that control lactose catabolism in E. coli. And how is it controlled? It is controlled by what? Switching on and switching off the different parts of the gene. And uh, here you can see in absence of inducer, the whole system is switching off. And in presence of inducer, it is switching on. So you need to explain both this. Here they've asked lack of parin when lactose is present in the medium. So this in presence of inducer. Inducer here it is lactose. So you need to explain, draw a diagrammatic sketch of the lack of parin. 32, question number 32. With respect to the evolution of man, name A, B, D, E and F, that is places of origin. So here period, 2 million years ago, places of origin A, type of man. Then here B period, place of origin Java, type of man C. Here period is given, you, you need to identify D, that is place of origin and type of man. First one A, place of origin, East African grassland, that is 2 million years ago, East African grassland, 
was the origin and the type of man was Australopithecus. Then B, period, that is 1.5 million years ago, Java and C is what? Homo erectus. Then D, that is D, 1 lakh to 40,000 years, place of origin is East and Central Asia and the type of man is, E is Neanderthal man. Then F, period is 75,000 to 10,000 years ago, place of origin is Africa and type of man is Homo sapiens. So this is how there is a, a little bit of change question given in this particular question called question number 32. Question number 33, mention the three critical areas of biotech. You just have to mention what are the three critical areas of biotechnology. First critical area, providing the best catalyst in the form of improved organisms, usually a microbe or a pure enzyme. Second uh, critical area, creating optional conditions through engineering for a catalyst to cut. Next, downstream processing technologies to purify the proteins of organic compound. Next, question number 34. What is gene therapy? Explain the steps involved in curing ADA deficiency by gene therapy. So what are the steps of gene therapy? The first clinical gene therapy was given in 1992, a four-year-old girl with adenosine deaminase deficiency or which is also called SCID, that is severe combined immune disorder. This enzyme, that is the enzyme adenosine deaminase is crucial for the immune system to function. The disorder is caused due to the deletion of the gene for adenosine deaminase. In some children, ADA deficiency can be cured by bone marrow transplantation. In others, it can be treated by enzyme replacement therapy in which functional ADA is given to the patient by injection. But the problem with both of these approaches is that they are not completely curative. So as a first step towards gene therapy, lymphocytes from the blood of the patient are grown in a culture outside the body. A functional DNA, that is cDNA, using a retroviral vector is then introduced into these lymphocytes which are subsequently returned to the patient. However, as these cells are not immortal, the patient requires periodic infusion of such genetically engineered lymphocytes. However, if the gene isolated from marrow cells producing ADA is introduced into cells at early embryonic stages, then it could also be a permanent cure. Moving on to question number 35, which is a split question. Co-extinctions lead to loss of biodiversity. Justify the statement with two examples. Co-evolved plant pollinator mutualism where extinction of one variable lead to the extinction of the other. Biodiversity hotspots. So here, co-extinction lead to loss of biodiversity. Justify the statement with two examples. This is question number A. Co-evolved plant pollinator mutualism where extinction of one invariably lead to the extinction of the other. Question number B. Biodiversity hotspots. What are the biodiversity hotspots? What do you mean by biodiversity hotspots? Regions with very high levels of species richness and high degree of endemism, that is species confined to that geographical area and not found anywhere else. Hotspot biodiversity is also regions of accelerated habitat loss. Then question number 36, describe the components of an aquatic ecosystem, taking pond as an example. So interaction of biotic and abiotic components results in a physical structure that is characteristic of each type of ecosystem. Identification and description of plant and animal species of an ecosystem gives its species composition. Vertical distribution of different species occupying different levels is called as what? Stratification. So what are the functional components of an ecosystem? We have the productivity, decomposition, energy flow and nutrient cycle. So we need to discuss about the pond ecosystem. The first uh, uh, description, the abiotic components include dissolved inorganic and organic substances and the rich soil deposit at the bottom of the pond. Second, the solar input cycle of temperature, day length regulate the rate of function of the entire pond. The producer, that is autotrophic, includes, as we know it is an aquatic ecosystem, so includes the producers will be what? Phytoplankton, some algae and the floating submerged and marginal plants found in the edge of the pond. Then the consumers are represented by zooplanktons, free swimming and bottom dwelling animals. The decomposers are the fungi, bacteria, especially abundant at the bottom of the pond. Basic events in terms of function in ecosystem, conversion of inorganic into organic material by producers, consumption of the autotrophs by the heterotrophs, decomposition and mineralization of the dead organic matter to release them back for use by the autotrophs. There is 
unidirectional flow of energy from lower to higher trophic levels and its dissipation and loss as heat of the and loss as heat to the environment moving on to the last part part d section 1 that is fifth main question which is a five marker question answer any four of the following questions in about 200 to 250 words each wherever applicable draw neat label diagram of human male reproductive system so here you can see the human male reproductive system and minimum at least 8 to 10 labelings should be there as you can see the testis is located extra abdominal in a cavity in a pouch called scrotum so here you can see the testis then urethra bulbo urethral glands prostate gland seminal vesicle urinary bladder ureter and the epididymis vas deferens vas efferentia rete testis and testicular lobules and glands spinis so you need to label all these parts in a uh, human male reproductive system question number 38 mention the chromosomal disorders that are due to trisomy represent their karyotype and two symptoms each as we know klinefelter syndrome uh, is an allosomal hyperaneuploidy and this uh, syndrome was reported by harry klinefelter hence the name klinefelter syndrome and this is an allosomal abnormality due to the addition of one extra x chromosome hence it is trisomy condition that is 2n plus 1 hence the affected individual is having 47 chromosomes instead of 46 and the chromosomal complement in such individual is 44 47 that is 44a 44 and this is particularly klinefelter syndrome is seen only in males and x because there is one addition of one extra x chromosome it is 47 so this is the chromosomal complement so what are the symptoms then characters or symptoms what symptoms do they exhibit having this klinefelter syndrome the feminine development like development of breast which is called gynecomastia overall masculine development the individuals are sterile because underdeveloped testes they are tall statured scanty hairs on the body underdeveloped testes hence it is called hypogonadism and less or low production of androgens male hormone and there is no production of sperms hence they are sterile moving on to question number 39 so this is with the help of schematic representation illustrate how an infected animal cell can survive while viruses are being replicated and released so life cycle of hiv life cycle of hiv so viral rna viral infects the normal cell and here you can see that it enters the animal cell and viral rna is introduced into the cell and where viral dna is produced by reverse transcriptase and viral dna incorporates into host genome where you can see new viral rna is produced by the infected cell and that is how the new viruses are produced so new viruses can infect other cells after getting into the body the hiv enters into macrophages or t helper cells the viral rna genome is replicated to form viral dna with the enzyme called reverse transcriptase so this is the description part of the life cycle of hiv you, the viral dna gets incorporated into the host cell dna by an enzyme called integrase and directs the infected cells to produce virus particles next the macrophage continues to produce virus and acts as what hiv factory virus released from macrophage attack t helper cells and there is progressive reduction in the number of t helper cells and next step due to reduction of t helper cells the person starts suffering from infections of other viruses fungi and even parasites like toxoplasma the patient becomes immune deficient and more prone to other diseases question number 40 with reference to dna fingerprinting define the following terms so this is a split question so repetitive dna a specific sequence of nucleotides that is repeated sometimes many times within our genetic material so what do you mean by satellite dna it is a highly repetitive dna consisting of shorter sequence repeated a large number of times what is dna polymorphism refers to the presence of two or more variant forms of a specific dna sequence that can occur among different individuals or population what is bntr as we know expand bntr variable tandem repeat is a location in dna where a short nucleotide sequence is organized as a tandem repeat with variations in length between individuals probe means a single standard sequence of dna or rna that is used to identify specific sequences of dna or rna Question number 
What is genetic code? Explain any four salient features of genetic code. What do you mean by genetic code? Sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide chain is determined by the sequence of nucleotides on DNA or the coded message or genetical information present on mRNA strand is decoded into amino acid to form polypeptide chain is called genetic code. So triplet, as we know the, the codon system, what we are following right now is triplet codon system, which is usage of three nitrogenous bases coding for a particular amino acid is called triplet codon system. So unit of three nitrogenous bases together code an amino acid is called triplet codon. So what are the features of genetic code? Triplet codon, the codon is triplet. As we know, there are 64 codons. 61 codons are coding for amino acids, whereas the remaining three codons do not code for any amino acid. Hence, they function as what? Nonsense codons or stopped codons. Degeneracy. Some amino acids are coded by more than one codon. Hence, the code is degenerate. Hence, 61, we call them as sensible codons and the remaining three as non-sensible or nonsense codons. Alanine is coded by GCA, GCC, GCU and GCG. Comalis, that is the codon is read in mRNA in a continuous fashion. There are no punctuations. Genetic code is universal. That is the code is nearly universal. For example, from bacteria to human, you, you, you would code for phenylalanine. May it be, that is from bacteria to human, you would code for phenylalanine. Some exceptions to this rule have been found in mitochondrial codons and in some protozoans. Then AUG has dual function. This is very important as we know. AUG codes for methionine which is acting as an initiator codon and it also acts as an initiator codon. Sixth one, the terminator codons. As I said, only 61 codons are sensible and the remaining three are nonsense. They do not have any sense. Hence, you call them as nonsense codons. There are three codons who do not code for any amino acid. Hence, they function as stop codons. Namely, UAA, UAG and UGE. Question number 42. Describe the biological treatment of primary effluent. So first of all, let us understand what is this uh, sewage treatment plant. We'll have two very important uh, processes. One is called primary treatment and the other one is called secondary treatment. So they've asked the biological treatment of primary effluent. So first of all, how do we get this primary effluent through primary treatment? Involves the physical removal of particles, large and small from sewage through filtration and sedimentation. Initially, floating debris is removed by sequential filtration. Then the grit, the grit means what? The soil and the small pebbles are removed by sedimentation. For all the solids that settle form the primary sludge and the supernatant forms the effluents. The effluents are from the primary settling tank taken for secondary treatment. So this from there on, we, the, the process that happens is in the secondary treatment or which is also called as biological treatment. The primary effluent is passed into large aeration tanks. This allows vigorous growth of useful aerobic microbes into flocks. Flock is a masses of bacteria associated with fungal filaments to form mesh-like structures. The growth of microbes consumes the major part of the organic matter in the effluent. This significantly reduces the BOD, that is the biochemical oxygen demand of the effluent. BOD means the bio biochemical oxygen demand refers to what? To the amount of oxygen required to oxidize total organic matter by bacteria present in one liter of water. As we all know, it is also used as a pollution indicator, is the measure of the organic matter present in the water, greater the BOD of the waste water, more is its polluting potential. Hence, BOD is directly proportional to the amount of water pollution. More the BOD, more the pollution. Lesser the BOD, lesser the pollution. Once the BOD of sewage uh, reduced significantly, the effluent is then passed into the settling tank where the bacterial flocks are allowed to sediment. The sediment is called activated sludge. Then small part of the activated sludge is pumped back to aeration tank to serve as the inoculum. Then the remaining sludge is pumped into anaerobic sludge digester. Next step, in the anaerobic sludge digester, there is other kind of bacteria which grow anaerobically, digest the bacteria and fungi in the sludge. Next step, during this digestion, bacteria produce biogas that is mixture of methane, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. So this biogas can be used as a source of energy as it is inflammable. Then the effluent from the Secondary treatment plant is released into natural water body like rivers and streams. So before the sewage water is let off into the 
water body or into the environment it has to be treated. So in the sewage treatment plant where it undergoes primary treatment which is called physical treatment and the secondary treatment which is called biological treatment. Then example, as we know, the Ministry of Environment and Forest has initiated Ganga Action Plan and Yamuna Action Plan to save these major rivers of a country from pollution. Question number 43. Explain the process of polymerase chain reaction in amplification of desired DNA. Next, draw a label diagram of PBR vector. Amplification of gene of interest using PCR. What is the first step? As we all know, PCR means polymerase chain reaction. It facilitates to obtain multiple copies of gene primers of interest, which can be synthesized in vitro using two sets of primers. Then primary small chemically synthesized oligonucleotides that are complementary to the regions of DNA. The enzyme catalyzes this reaction is called DNA polymerase. Then DNA polymerase as we know, these are the enzymes that create DNA molecules by assembling nucleotides. These enzymes are essential to DNA replication and usually work in pairs to create two identical DNA strands from a template. In the process of replication of DNA, that is DNA is repeated many times, the segment of DNA can be amplified, multiplied to approximately billion times, that is one billion copies of DNA are made. Then such repeated amplification is achieved by the use of the thermostable DNA polymerase, which is isolated from a bacterium called Thermus aquaticus, which remain active during high temperature induced denaturation of double-stranded DNA. Next, the amplified fragment, if desired, can now be used to ligate with a vector for the further cloning. So thermostable DNA polymerase is also called TAC polymerase enzyme. So what are the steps involved in uh, uh, PCR technique generally? Denaturation, then we have annealing of primers and three extension of primers. Draw a label diagram of PBR 320 that is plasmid of Bolivar and Roderick strain 322. As we all know, it is the first plasmid vector widely used for cloning DNA in E. coli and it has ORI site, ROP codes for the proteins for the replication of plasmid and we have PBR 322 showing restriction sites for enzymes like we have HIND that is HIND 3 then ECHO RI1, then uh, we have BMH1, then SAL1, then uh, PVU1, then PST1 and PVA and CLA1. Moving on to question number 44. So here a graph is given uh, where we need to study the population growth curve given below and answer the questions that follows. So here First one, growth A is exponential growth, that is the J-shaped curve. Second one, A curve, any species growth exponentially and exponentially under unlimited resources condition can search enormous population density in a short time. Then B curve, logistic growth curve, sigmoid curve, where resources for growth for most animal population are finite and become limiting. So uh, in that question, we have the split question. Explain the mechanism of sexual deceit in relation to mutualism. Mechanism of sexual deceit in relation to mutualism. What do you mean by sexual deceit? The action of pr or practice of deceiving someone by concealing or misrepresenting the truth. So you can give an example of Mediterranean orchid Ophirus, which employs sexual deceit. Petal of the flower resembles the female bee. The male bee is attracted to what it perceives as a female, pseudo copulates with it and the flower but does not get any benefits. So moving on to the last but one section that is part D section 2. That is the sixth main question. Again a five marker question. Answer any one of the following questions in about 200 to 250 words each wherever applicable. So question number 45. Double fertilization is the Unique feature of angiosperms and the products of this double fertilization is zygote and PN. In context of this, when a hexaploid plant is pollinated by a tetraploid plant, find out the ploidy of zygote and PN through a schematic illustration. So this is how you double fertilization, we have to draw this diagram as you know, we call it as seven celled and eight nucleate stage. And here you can see the three antipodal cells and two polar nuclei, central cell, synergids and the egg. So one of the male gamete fuses with the egg to form zygote and one of the uh, cell fuses with the two polar nuclei to form PN that is primary endosperm nucleus and antipodal cells and the synergids will disintegrate. So this is the diagram. So explanation, the fusion of two male gametes with two different 
components of the embryo sac namely egg and secondary nucleus is called double fertilization or the whole process of fertilization that involves both syngamy and triple fusion is known as what double fertilization the pollen tube carrying two haploid male gametes enters the embryo sac through one of the synergies one of the male gamete fuses with the egg cell and is called syngamy this results in the formation of diploid cell called zygote the other male gamete moves towards the two polar nuclei and fuses with secondary nucleus the central cell to form a triploid primary endonucleus where we call it as pn as this involves the fusion of three haploid nuclei it is termed as triple fusion since two types of fusion such as syngamy and triple fusion takes place in an embryo sac the phenomenon is termed as double fertilization which is a unique event among flowering plants the central cell after triple fusion becomes primary endosperm cell the triploid nucleus of it divides and develops into endosperm while zygote develops into an embryo so what is the definition of triple fusion it is a fusion of the male gamete with the two polar nuclei inside the embryo sac of the angiosperm leading to triploid primary endosperm nucleus is called triple fusion the next question number 46 abo blood grouping provides a good example of multiple alleles and are controlled by the gene i this gene product is responsible for the production of a sugar polymer that protrudes from its surface the i gene has three alleles they are all as follows specific pattern of so a genotypes for abo blood group is what a ia 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 small i b ib 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 small i ab ib ib and o small i small i then what are the probable number of phenotypes and genotypes for abo blood group in human population the abo blood group antigens are encoded by one genetic locus the abo locus which has three alternative form that is ab and o c name the type of blood groups of the paternal combination in which both their blood group is not inherited to their children a child receives one of the three alleles from each parent giving rise to six possible phenotypes genotypes and four possible blood types so an o and b crossing cannot produce an a or ab child an ab with o can produce a children or b children or b children but not o in short abo system can prove you are not a parent but not that you are there are millions of other people with the same blood group last question that is 47 five patients suffering from certain diseases visit a local primary health center the doctor does a thorough checkup and prepares the report of the five patient and is indicated in the given below table analyze the table and diagnose the disease they are suffering from and causative agent of the disease so patient 1 high fever constipation stomach ache loss of appetite headache so what is the disease the disease is typhoid the disease is typhoid what is the causative agent salmonella typhi which is a bacterium so patient 2 chills and high fever recurring every 3 and 4 hours that is disease is malaria causative agent is plasmodium vivax patient 3 constipation mucus blood clots in stool abdominal pain and cramps are the symptoms so what might the disease be the disease is amoebic dysentery and causative agent is entamoeba histolytica patient 4 internal bleeding blockage in the internal passage muscular pain fever so what is the disease ascariasis what is the causative agent ascaris lumbricoides patient 5 dry scaly lesions on skin nails and scab so what might be the disease ringworm causative agent is trichophyton rubrum hope you all have understood the model question paper what i have discussed in this particular session pertaining to your second pvc biology examination thank you